So if you go to Proverbs 24, verses 17 through 23, let's get started. Proverbs 24, verse 17 through 18. Just going to take these two at a time. 17 through 18. It says, Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. Lest the Lord see it, and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. Now, my brothers and sisters, here's something you have to understand. There's a song that goes out that he has the whole world in his hands. If he has the whole world in his hands, you can't make a change in what he's holding. Amen. 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 So you have to either accept what he does or you don't accept what he does. So when I looked at this verse here, it says, Rejoice not with thy enemy fallen. I thought about these people who are against each other. Here you have you know, Democrats, you have Republicans, you have uh, Biden, and you had Trump. Now, whoever wins, whoever was going to be the winner, it took a bigger person not to talk about. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Oh, y'all not hear me now. Amen. Since one of the things the Lord doesn't want us to get caught up in is to become as the world is. The tendency of the flesh is to put somebody down. Amen. To make them feel bad. Yeah. If they've fallen, step on them. Right. Put your foot on them. Mm -mm. Hold them down. Mm -hmm. That's the tendency of the flesh. Yes. And if you haven't noticed, that's your tendency. Mm -hmm. When somebody's down, you want to go ahead and put some gas on the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. about, I'm going to put this out and throw some gasoline on the fire. Mm -hmm. Then somebody says, well, no, I'm not going to be that bad. I'm just going to put some light fluid. <laughs> I don't care what you use. Well. You are not using what the Lord has given you. Lord. That's what the Lord is trying to get. If you throw your opinion on somebody else's troubles, it's either gasoline or lighter food. Mm -hmm. Or maybe some of y'all use kerosene. Mm -hmm. But your opinion ignites. My Lord. Amen. Come on now, this is all right. Your opinion ignites. If your opinion is not of the Lord, if you're not using something to try to calm people down, your Fs that you put on Facebook, like people don't know what you're saying. Yeah, come on, man. I'm playing with you because you play. Amen, amen. F with all those little, what the little stars. <laughs> like nobody understands what you're saying. And you know what it's saying? Somebody once said, says, well, Pastor, some of your people make you look bad. I said, no, they don't. Yeah. They don't make me look bad. But they sure make the Lord look bad. Because they're going to tell somebody they can leave. And here they are demonstrating how Satan operates more than they demonstrate how the Lord operates. Oh, yeah, come on. Don't get quiet on me now. Amen. Because see, the Lord wants us to understand when that war is over, uh -huh. after you done gotten off your chest, after you have ignited something that was already started, after you done thrown your kerosene, gasoline, charcoal, lighter fluid on the situation, uh -huh. you need to go to the mirror and take a look and see if you have a crown. All right. Yeah. Have you done something or anything that has pleased the Lord? And see, that's why we have to understand as Christians, our concern, he tells us don't get, be worried about what's going on in the world. Our concern should be focused on how does the Lord see us? 
How does it see me when somebody cusses me out? He's not looking at the person who cussed me out. He's looking at the person that says, I love you, Lord. I believe in you and I trust you. And will that person maintain their crown as a king upon this earth, as one that's in authority? You see, if we have the ability to be an authority over self, Hello, somebody. Amen. You have the ability. You ain't got to let go. Talk about, well, I can't help myself. That's a bold-faced lie. You can't help yourself. All right, come on now. Come on. You can't do it by yourself. Because the Bible says we can do all things. Amen. The Christ Jesus. And if you tell me you can't help yourself, then you just told me you don't have the Lord. If you have received something from this message and the Lord has placed it on your heart to give, you can support this ministry through Cash App online at dollar sign Living Witness MC, or you can do so through Tithely going through our website, livingwitnessmissionarychurch.com.